Hello again and welcome back to a new video from the Palestinian school in Bata with me Mr. Amdallah Shurab. Today inshallah we will continue talking about the 6th grade English for Palestine student book with unit 13 period 5 and our title is where does rain come from let's start by showing you the, the page that we are going to answer please open your box page 32 hold your pencil and get ready before we start we're going to revise the previous lesson in the previous lesson we talked about the present symbol let's see this example hot air rises it rains in winter and Hadi does his homework every day in each sentence we can notice that we add s s and here we add e s why do we add s or e s to the sen to these sentences or to the verbs in these sentences because the subject is singular hot a it and hadi all these subjects are singular why do we add es here in this example see the new rule when the verb ends with ch sh o x z or double s we should add es not only s so please write down this note on their, uh, in your uh, notebooks and memorize them carefully. Now let's move to the first activity. Read and think. Complete the sentences with the correct words. We have one, two, three, four, and we have to write the correct form of the verb that given in these sentences. First one, I'll do the first one with you, and then you have to pause and resume after you answer the question. Rain, space, come from the clouds. The subject is singular, and we are going, and we are talking about uh, science laws or facts. So, when the subject is singular and we are talking about science laws, we should add S to the verb. Rain comes from the cloud. Please pause the video and answer the rest. Now check your answer with your teacher. Number two, water. Change into vapor when it's hot. Water change into vapor when it is hot. The subject is singular, so we should add S to the verb excellent. 3. Hot air rise. Hot air. The subject is also singular, so we should add S to the verb. It will be Hot air rises, hot air rises. The fourth sentence, we have two spaces, which means two verbs. Let's see. Hot air, cool. Let's do the, the first sentence, or the first part of the sentence. Hot air, cool. The subject is singular, so we add S to the verb. We are talking about facts or science laws. Cools. And we have here and. When we have and, so this verb have or has the same tense with this verb. But because we are talking about the same subject. Hot air. Cools and becomes clouds. Hot air. Cools and becomes. We are talking about the hot air. Clouds. Let's move to another thing, talking about the present symbol, but here we talk about the sentences and we are going to talk about another thing. These are sentences. We talk about them in the, in the start of the video. 
Don't forget that we add es when the verb ends with ch, s, s, o, x, z, and double s. Now we are going to talk about the present simple, but the question or the wh questions in the present simple. If you want to answer a question in wh question, we should add or use the helping verb do. We have do with plural and does with singular. Where where can we add them or what should where should we add do and does? We add do and does after the question word. Let's see this example. When Yasin and Khalid go to bed. When Yasin and Khalid go to bed. Where is the question word? Excellent. The question word is when. So where we should add do or does? He after the question word. Okay, should we add do or does? What do you think? What is the subject? Yasin and Khalid. Yasin and Khalid. Two. More than one. So the subject is plural. So we should add do. When do Yasin and Khalid go to bed? Let's see the answer. They go to bed at 9 p.m. This is the verb. We don't add anything to the verb because the subject is plural. They, which refers to Yasin and Khalid. Let's see the second example. Where Farah go every week? Where Farah go every week? The first step, where should we add do or does? After the question word, where, so we should add here, the do or the does. Okay, let's go to the subject. Where is the subject in this question? Farah. Farah, is it singular or a plural? It's just Farah. One girl. So, we should add does. Where does Farah go every week? Let's see, for example, that she go to Aspire Park. She go to Aspire Park. Can we say she go? No, because the subject is singular. So, what should we add? Excellent. We should add ES. So, to the verb, so the sentence will be, she goes to Aspire Park, and we add ES here because the verb ends with O. Let's answer activity number two, and see if we understand the rule or not. Think and write the correct questions and answer. How does rain happen? Notice and be careful to this they put this question to tell us that we should use the present symbol. We have does here. So all these sentences should be in the present symbol, which is when the subject is singular, we should add S or ES to the verb. Let's see. How water become hot? I'll do the first one with you and you have to do the rest two, three, and four. How water become hot? Where is the question word? Excellent. How? What should we add? Do or does? The subject is water. Water. So it's singular. So we should add does. The question will be how does, and we add the article that the water become hot. How does the water become hot? Let's see the sentence. The sun make the water hot. What should we add to the verb? We should add S to the verb because the subject is singular. The sun. There is only one sun. So the subject is singular and the verb. We should add S to the verb. Please pause the video. Try to answer by yourself and then resume the video and check your answer. Question number two, what hot water change into? 
Where is the question word? What? Excellent. What should we add? Do or does after the question word? Let's see the subject. Hot water. Hot water. It's singular. So, we should add does. What does hot water change into? The answer, hot water change into vapor and rise up. What should we add to the verbs? Change and rise. We should add S to change and S to rise. Because the subject is singular. Hot air changes into vapor and rises up. I told you that when we see and between two verbs, so that means they have the same tense. The water changes and rises. Okay, let's see the third question. How vapor change into clouds? How is the question word? And we should add do or does after the question word here. Let's see the subject. Vapor. Vapor. It's singular. So we should add does. How does vapor change into clouds? And the answer. Vapor rise or rises. Vapor rises in the sky and cools. We, have, we add rises as the verb rise. And don't forget the S to the verb cool. It becomes cools. Rises and cools. The last question and answer. Why it rain? Why it rain? We should add do or does after the question word why. What about the subject? It. We said that we have three singular subject pronouns. He, she, and it. Al, ish. Okay? Don't forget them. So, it is singular. So, we should add does or use does. Why does it rain? Why does it rain? The answer. Clouds get heavy. And rain falls. Why don't we or why didn't we add S to this verb? But we add S to both. Can you tell me, you clever? The clouds. The clouds. The subject here is plural, not one cloud. The clouds, more than one. So, the verbs stay the same. We don't add anything to it. The clouds get heavy and rain. The subject is singular, rain. So, we add this to the verb fall. It will be false. Why does it rain? The clouds get heavy and rain falls. And don't forget to add this article to class. By answering this question, I hope you understand this uh, two activities. The last activity, try to practice speaking with your father, mother, sister, or brother, or a brother. Thank you for watching. See you next video, inshallah. Hope you the best. Vamos a ver.